I've always enjoyed my life and that's very easy for me to do and very easy for me to say because I've always been relatively healthy with a decent level of vitality and quality of life. But I'm acutely aware that the same is not the case for everybody. There are some people whose physical condition is such that the body, which for most of us is a source of pleasure and freedom, for some, the body is a source of constant pain. It's a prison from which there is no escape. And when there's no escape from something that's unpleasant, normally we call that torture. For people in that type of situation, I advocate uh, the right to die. Now, anybody in the medical profession normally takes an oath to try to do no harm, and I can understand medical professionals who would rather not assist people in dying. I don't think anybody should be made to perform such a procedure against their will. In the same way that I don't think anybody seeking the procedure should be coerced into doing it. There would obviously need to be some regulations. Uh, no one should be coerced into making the decision to end their life. And before that decision is made and acted upon, a person should of course be judged of sound mind. But if someone is of sound mind and their physical condition has little to no chance of improving and they want to have their life ended and they're incapable of doing it themselves especially, I think the medical profession should make such an alternative available. It's a discussion we don't have often enough and one I think that we should have more often. One thing we all know that we all have in common as human beings is we are mortal. We are all going to die. And since death is inevitable for all of us, I think there's some dignity and honor in choosing when to go out and how. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.